Hey everyone, it's me and, and Professor. Hope, uh, hope you guys don't mind these uh, dramatic entrances I seem to uh, keep making on a regular basis, but I'm not trying to uh, to be like, I don't know, uh, Dracula or, or Frankenstein with, 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 these, with these things, but uh, since uh, I can't uh, I can't aim, aim the camera when I'm using the the, the iPad or uh, change the uh, change the view in, in midstream. I have to do it this way, so I have to be uh, I have to be on the other side to turn the camera on, and then once the camera is rolling, then I can come around over to it to the view so you guys can can see me. Okay, well. Uh, for this video, I want to go and tell you a little bit more about how the EBSCO assi assignment works. Uh, this thing is not due until uh, after Thanksgiving on Tuesday, December 2nd, so plenty of time. Uh, but I did make some modifications to the assignment that I need to tell you right away, so I'll, I'll mention right now, and then I'll, I'll repeat them over the next couple of weeks, of course, in the announcement section on, on uh, Blackboard. Uh, but first, let me quickly go over some of the basic uh, parameters and the ground rules in terms of what this assignment is all about. Uh, this is where you access one of the uh, one of the databases at Southwestern College and look at articles pertaining to modern Chicano history. So topics which uh, correlate to where we started with, with, the, uh, with, the, with the class on tour, tour. M modern times, the uh, late 20th century into, tw into the 21st century, then these are some of the things you, you're, going, you're, going to be, you're, you're going to be looking at. And in terms of the, uh, in terms of the makeup, the write-up, uh, uh, the content of, of, your, of your essay, uh, don't forget, everybody, that there is the assignment worksheet along with the uh, uh, similar to the other assignments uh, also in the class. So if you haven't seen this already, then by all means, uh, get back in the assignment section and uh, check and, and, and check this and download the forms uh, as soon as possible. I'm not going to go over all the ins and outs of it here. You can do this on your own time, but let me just quickly point out a couple of basic, uh, one basic point about, about the, the assignment. Um, when you choose your article and, 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 and you're uh, uh, looking at it over uh, and you make up your, your essay, don't give me a f don't give me uh, a full a full thing in which it's all summary about your article. That is, let's say your, your essay comes in at uh, at five to six, so five, six, seven pages. That's the that's the vicinity I'm looking for in, in your in your in your in your completed completed uh, completed paper. Uh, don't give me the entire essay. As if it's a summary from uh, from a point A to to point point B, and say uh, in this article the author talks about this, he talks about that, or she goes on here, blah blah blah, uh, and 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 you do that for the for the entirety of of, of of your essay. I want you to give me a balance between summary and your analysis, your perspective on this. So uh, and try to make it a sixty percent, forty percent, or seventy percent, thirty percent, but. Uh, Around around those vicinities, that's a good number. That's a good balance that I'm looking for. Looking for. So, for instance, let's say your uh, your review comes in at at five pages, and you have three and a half pages of uh, summary of the main points of the article, and uh, and then a page and a half about your analysis and perspective, how the uh, topic, how the article fits into uh, your views on modern Chicano history, what contributions you think the article makes to uh, your understanding of modern Chicano history, things of that, that sort, then you've got a good good balance there. So again, look over the guidelines, look, look over the parameters on the assignment worksheet, and that gives you a better sense of what I'm looking for. But the big thing I need to tell you about right now before I uh, we'll go into EBSCO is the fact that I made some modifications on the choice of journals that I want you to be looking at. On the worksheet itself, I've got five journals listed I want you to look at. Uh, change those. So instead of those five, I want you to zero in on these three. Let me list them for you right now. They are the Journal of American History, the Journal of American Ethnic History, so two different ones right, right there, and also the Western Historical Quarterly. Those are the three that I want you to limit your search uh, to. Now, what happened was there were some articles that, uh, that, that uh, or some journals that I thought would be available, but it turns out these are the journals that you could get only uh, physically there at the Southwestern campus. So if this was an on-campus class, that wouldn't be a big problem. Uh, I would just tell you guys, okay, uh, uh, go to the LRC and, and, and get this, or we're going to meet at the LRC, or, or, or we're going to uh, have class there, and we'll have the librarians uh, show us how to access the, the databases. Uh, of course, can't really do that because it's an online class, and because I'm out here in Riverside County, I know there's a couple of you in, in both sections who are also in the same 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 boat. That seems to defeat the purpose of of, of of the assignment in that you have to physically go on campus to get the articles when you're trying to get the articles from the comfort of your home computer, work computer, or even from your uh, from your iPad, your uh, your your um, your uh, tablets, or whatever device you're, you're using the, these days. So. Um, 
And so to, uh, so, uh, to get away from, from that, we're going to focus in on three journals that we can access easily uh, from the comfort of, 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 of our computers or our, our, our devices. So again, they are the Journal of American History, the Journal of American Ethnic History, and the Western Historical Quarterly. So limit your searches to those three, and I'll show you how to find articles. We're going to, we'll, we'll examine two of those journals, and we'll look at some uh, topics that we, we, we can check into. So, uh, but again, I'll keep reminding you about, uh, about those changes for the next couple of weeks as well. So, uh, uh, so if you don't, uh, so uh, any, if, any people who, uh, who happen to miss this video will definitely hear about the information when I post in the, when I post in Blackboard and the announcements over the next week or so. Okay, so with, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look and let's go ahead and find, find some articles. We'll uh, take a look at a couple of the journals and see what the, uh, what what we, we can we can find, and also too, as I'm going through this, I'm going to modify the search parameters that I have listed here on the first paragraph of, of the of, of the assignment work, worksheet. So, um, so basically, um, 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 you you can ignore some of the information I have here. So, what what I say to you in this video, this will be the the, the main uh, search uh, uh, search guidelines search parameters that I want you to be using when you find your articles. Okay, so let me take my glasses off so we can. Uh, Take a better look at the monitor, and uh, let's see what we can find. Okay, sorry about all, all, all the wiring here. I got, definitely have to uh, fix all this up and make make my uh, workspace a little bit neater. Okay, we're um, we're taking a look at the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Huntington Library in uh, San Marino near near Pasadena. Yeah, I was there at a conference back in January, and very very impressive place. I would definitely love to go back there again, and. Uh, uh, no, of course, check out the sites and and do some uh, maybe do some research. Okay, all right. Let's look, look, look. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. I've got the announcements here for the uh, for the last couple of days for for today, Friday the the eighth, and also uh, the announcements from uh, Thursday the seventh and Tuesday the fifth. So uh, from here, we'll just quickly we'll just go down to uh, SWC LRC databases. And let's go find EBSCO. Oh, and of course, I, I, I forgot yet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got this uh, section where uh, the page itself can't really open up in, in Blackboard, so we, have to hit, so we have to hit this blue link too. So just go ahead and hit the, uh, hit the blue link up, up there. Okay, and here we go into, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, into all the uh, various databases that are available uh, for you uh, for you at, at Southwestern. So we're going to uh, hit EBSCO Host Academic Search Premier. So it's the first one from General Topics, really easy to find. And I already I already logged in my, my information. So um, so it's going to so it's going to take us right into EBSCO right now. But if you just if you're not on EBSCO, if you're just logging in a uh, cold from Blackboard, it's going to give you the, uh, the the page into which you have to enter your identification. So it's your password, your student ID, your your six digit birthday, all of that fun stuff. And you just punch in all that, and that'll take you. And then and then once you do that, then that takes you to this page here. Okay, here's the information. Uh, telling us about uh, about what our limits are in terms of searching for articles on our articles on, on on EBSCO and to make things e easier uh, I think there's only there's only about two things that you really really need to, only are three things that you really need to do before you go ahead and punch in your information that is your search topic so let's go ahead and and, and limit our, our results right, right now so do this from the right from the beginning because uh, this you might say clear clears away a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the non-essential stuff, and it gets you exactly what you're looking for. So, on limit your results, click full text, and then and then as I have listed on the assignment worksheets, I want your articles to be at least eight pages long. So, uh, in order to find ar uh, articles that are in that category where it says number of pages, just go down to where it says greater than, click that, and then enter seven. Okay, those of you remember from uh, junior high or high school al al algebra or any, or <clears throat> uh, any of those classes, of, of course, uh, anything uh, eight is greater than, than seven. So just type in th those parameters. And then back over here, over on, on the right, um, let's just go ahead and click peer uh, reviewed because that indicates that it's a scholarly journal. It's uh, reviewed by uh, other scholars from, from, uh, from, from, from the field. Um, 
So if someone from UC Riverside has a good good article, then his then his or her colleague from say uh, Cal State San Northridge will write, uh, yes, this is a great article. She's an expert in the field. Blah blah blah. Uh, she has a uh, fresh new approach to this uh, this uh, old problem. You get the idea. So with, when you get peer reviewed, you might say it's uh, something that scholars a uh, 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 double check on other scholars' work. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do, and I think this is this is a, this is a key here on publication. Um, I want you to type in the journal, any of the three journals that I that I have mentioned for you, and let's go ahead and start off with the journal Western Historical Quarterly. Uh, there are quite a few articles that I that I searched through, and I found that will really fit perfectly for the assignment. So let's go ahead and do that. Type in Western Historical Quarterly. So in other words. Um, we're doing a bit of a, a reverse uh, search on, on EBSCOhost because um, in the old way of doing things, <clears throat> excuse me, in the old way of doing things, I would have had you uh, just do a search on a topic and then find the journal later. But now we're going to start with the journal first and then find the topics within the journal. So sort of a, a backwards, a switcheroo, uh, so to speak. Uh, but I think for our purposes, this works, uh, this works the, the best. Okay, so quart, quarterly. All right, now that we've got our, our search parameters uh, uh, already in, we've got the name of the publication. We've got the fact that we've got full text article. So it's going to give us a full text article either in PDF or HTML format. And we've got, um, we've got number of pages, more than seven, so it'll be at least eight. Now that we've got all these things uh, punched in, let's go ahead and find some articles. So up here at the search field, Let's go ahead and, and type in the type in the topic Mexican Americans. Let's see what kind of uh, items we find in a Western Historical Quarterly about Mexican Americans. Okay, this is just one one search uh, topic. You can go into a w wide different different directions. I'll give you some more choices uh, toward the end of the video, and of course also uh, in in Blackboard. But we'll, this is a good place to start, and we can build our base uh, from there. So again, there you have it, Mexican Americans. Let's click the green search button and see what we can find. Okay, we found we found six articles here, so it doesn't really seem like much, but these are pretty good articles here. And 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 for the assignment, this is a case where uh, I'm, I, uh, where if one if one person chooses one article, it's not a limited. That is, that is nobody else can work on it. No, no, no. I I I I don't have that policy. So more than one one more than one person can work work on on any given article. So even if say uh, seven or eight people from one section of the class decides to work on an article, that's perfectly fine with me. Just find something that, that interests you as long as within the uh, parameters that, that I've been uh, that I've been showing you here. So we found some articles here about the uh, about immigration in the early 1950s, uh, lead contamination. Uh, so contamination is definitely a key concern for the Chicano communities. I think uh, Barrio Logan in San Diego, that's been a big problem for many, many years with all the uh, with some of the uh, auto body plants painting and all of that, all of that uh, fun, fun stuff. So, so this case in Texas, in El Paso, that's uh, that's that's going on. Interest. Here's an article here about the uh, about a an anti-Chinese campaign going on in Ensenada. So that that seems quite quite intriguing. Here's uh, here's an article here about how the uh, 10th Cavalry was involved in the Mexican Revolution. In fact, from the Pancho Villa film, this is a topic that was actually covered. So if you want to focus in on the revolution and about the 10th Cavalry in Pancho Villa, then here's one you can definitely check out. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Here we're going to get into this topic pretty soon. The Pachucas, uh, the, uh, the the girls of the of, of the zoot suitors. That's one you can check out too. Okay, and here's one here that dates back to the 1860s, so a little bit more of an older topic, but still within the context of the class. So they have six pretty good articles here in Western Historical uh, uh, Quarterly that you can check out. And to access them, you've got the PDF full text. Uh, designations here so just click that and it'll download right to your computer you're ready to go and I think over here toward the uh, okay yeah there should be a feature here in which you can uh, oh here we go yeah I think there's some features here yeah right okay over here off on the right there's some where you have the envelopes there's some features here in which you, you can print or email it to yourself. So whatever you want to do whether you want to uh, download it immediately by clicking the Adobe icon or clicking the uh, 
the envelope icon in which you can print or email it to yourself, you can you can definitely do it uh, do it either way. So six good articles with the Mexican Americans uh, search, and that's a good place to start. But let's say you want you want to go in onto into something something else within the context of the. Uh, of the uh, Western Historical Quarterly. Let's say you want to check out what's happening in, uh, let's say, Texas. Maybe there's an uh, there's another topic in on Texas, Texas uh, Chicanos Tejanos that might interest you. So let's clear uh, Mexican Americans out and put Texas. Okay, so I've got that toward the top uh, right there, and we'll click search. Okay, we've got we've got ten articles, and actually we've got some different ones that that actually fit fit in fit in pretty good with with the class. Um, this one here called "Homing Pigeons: Cheap Labor and Frustrated Nativists." That's a good one too. You can check on nativism was definitely a big uh, problem in the nineteen twenties. Uh, we had the PowerPoint program which focused focused in in on that with the rise of the Ku Klux Klan and other groups which uh, which were not only upset about Mexicans coming into the U.S. but of course about the uh, Europeans about the uh, uh, about the uh, about the Jews about the Eastern Europeans about the Catholics the Russians all, all of that so that. So I'm sure this article by John Weber uh, focuses on, on that too. And here's one here called the uh, Chamisal Blues, El Paso, the Wayward River, and the peoples in between. So, uh, so here's something a little bit more with the border implications uh, that that you might might find interesting. So, uh, so two other articles you, you can you can uh, check out too. And uh, and here on the numbers, this indicates how many pages the, the articles are. So the uh, the first one here toward the top, that's 20 pages. The one right here and the second one is nine pages and the one right here is 22 pages so clearly these things are well beyond our, our parameters of uh, more than seven pages now likewise in the search uh, topic besides Texas if you want to punch in things like uh, immigration uh, New Mexico m mining unions uh, organized la 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 labor any of those types of topics, by all means, you can definitely uh, do, do that route too. And I'll give you some more suggestions in Blackboard a little bit later. Okay, uh, let me give you let me go and give you one 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 more search. Let's go ahead and check out a few things in the Journal of American History, and then that'll wrap things up. I see we're pretty close to the to the uh, eighteen minute mark, so let me move a little bit quickly in this new search, and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a new search, everybody. So let's go ahead and uh, and do our parameters again. So, oh, right here, well, keep the boolean, uh, uh, keep keep the boolean search mode right there. Don't change that. Just leave that to where it is. Okay, on limit your results again. Full text, number of pages greater than seven. All right, and then over off on the right. Let's go ahead and click peer reviewed. And I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, so all we need to do is punch in our journal, and let's go ahead and punch in Journal of American History. All right. Now that we've got our parameters, let's get let's get ourselves a topic. And again, let's try the topic that we had used uh, for the uh, for the first search. Let's try Mexican Americans. Oh, and of course, you can punch in Latinos, uh, Hispanic Americans, Hispanics. Uh, Try try playing with a bunch of those and see see what you find. But for our purposes, let's go with Mexican Americans, and we'll click search and see what we can find. Okay, we find eight eighteen that looks like that, that uh, looks like they, they, they might work. Um, this one right here, number three, looks intriguing. The cosmic race in Texas. Racial fusion, white supremacy, and civil rights politics. So, uh, if I was in the class, I think that that'd be one that I'd definitely lean more toward. But we see something interesting here happening here on choices one and two because the journal that we have uh, popping up is the Journal of American Ethnic History. So that's a different one. But even though it's a different one, as I mentioned, that journal works just fine too. So even though that we're not really getting exactly what we're looking for in terms of Journal of American History, the fact that EBSCO is recognizing uh, the words Journal American History, it's also giving us ethnic too. But again, uh, if you're using Journal of American History or Journal of American Ethnic History, either of those it is fine. So if you want to use either the Good Neighbors one or the Other Immigrants one, then by all means go ahead and, and do that. And you can definitely uh, browse through these others uh, these other choices and see what else you, you can find. And again, like with the other ones, you have uh, 
you have the PDF full text and this one right here called Between Alienation and Ethnicity, the Evolution of Mexican-American Catholicism. That looks intriguing too. I would definitely check that one. It's HTML full text, so it's so it looks like you're not going to get something that you can download immediately, but at least you can get the full text by clicking the HTML full text. Okay, there you have everybody. That's how you would get into Eb EBSCO. Um, and again, uh, one, as one final reminder, right, uh, for the assignment, you're going to focus in on three journals. It's the Journal of American History, the Journal of American Ethnic History, and the Western Historical Qu Quarterly. So, uh, any of those three will work uh, ju just fine. Uh, I know I kinda, it's kind of limiting here compared to what I had at the uh, uh, to what I had in the assignment worksheet, but with those three journals, there's plenty of good stuff all around. And uh, I'll give you some more suggestions in terms of search topics in the next uh, the next week or so. All right. Well, this video definitely ran long, but uh, but hopefully these long videos at least give you a sense of what exactly I'm looking for. So there's no confusion uh, at, uh, with anything about the about the assignments. I'm not sure if I'm going to give you any new videos for the uh, remaining assignments. That is the Chicano video one and the uh, literary uh, review uh, review one because I think those are fairly self-explanatory. I don't need to really go into a lot more detail. The worksheets speak for themselves. But um, but again, if any questions pop up about this assignment or anything else, uh, you know where to reach me. Keep using messages for professor for the rest of the rest of the term. All right, so that's it from here and. Uh, Again, I'm recording this on Friday, so you guys have a nice uh, uh, holiday weekend, and, uh, and I'll definitely come back and talk to you guys again real soon uh, in, uh, in, in the Blackboard announcement section. All right, everyone, I will talk to you guys. Más tarde.